Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. And we're going to keep our Canadian horror movie theme rolling throughout July. A very forgotten and almost kind of lost movie. Death Weekend, aka The House by the Lake. But before we get started, what are we drinking? We're drinking Darkness Falls. Darkness! Darkness! Fuck your couch! <laughs> Fuck your couch! This movie is directed by William Fruit, who also directed Killer Party. Brenda Faccaro is in this. So is Chucks Shamada and uh, Don Stroud. He was in the Amityville Horror. Driving the car when the, <laughs> the windshield goes up. Death Weekend starts off with Diane and Harry going down the highway in this shit hot, nice convertible car. You get the impression that. They don't know each other all too well. He's telling her, I'm a dentist. I make whoa, this Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's an oral surgeon. So we have something against dentists then. You anti dentite bastard. He's bragging about how much money he makes as a dentist. It's a little bit of tension there, but you can kind of tell that he's trying to work it a little bit. Let me drive the car. <laughs> yeah. He lets her drive the car. And she's driving it better than he is. She's just fucking taking the turns, going super fast, and he's like, oh. Yeah. Other car comes behind them, this red car, full of a bunch of drunken hooligans. Fuck you! Yeah, come on! They're all come throwing on. bottles! She's like, well, let's show them. And they have this big, huge race. Poor Harry is like, oh my yeah. god! <laughs> she eventually runs them off the road. Road. They go into this creek and the car is <laughs> stalled in the water. These hooligans get out of the car and the leader leps all beating all these guys <laughs> up like, what the fuck you? Yeah. Like, Diane and Harry get to this gas station. You're bringing another one up this weekend, <laughs> eh? You didn't forget about us, did you? Pulls all this moonshine out of his car. <laughs> <laughs> two big jugs of moonshine. That's a lot of moonshine. <laughs> Harry takes Diane back to his place and it's a big fucking mansion out in the woods, right? Getting changed, and he's got this two-way mirror going, he's taking pictures. In the meantime, these hooligans got their car up and running. Push it up through the mud. Yeah, yeah. They're driving over all those <laughs> posts and <laughs> fence. And <laughs> going around town asking, have you seen this black Corvette? They go to this nice campground. You can't come in without a permit. Well, here's my permit. They grab his hand and just floor it. He's, He's all dragging. dragging. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, these guys come up to that gas station. They sweet-talked him. And they gave him a bit of money. Learned where Diane and Harry are staying for the weekend. They're all pissed drunk. Oh, they're you fucking <laughs> shit-faced. Oh, there you go to their <laughs> gate and you let them in. <laughs> Harry's trying to get with her on the couch and everything yep. and he's just being a jerk i thought there were people coming over now you're telling me no one's coming yeah. well there's your coat there's your boots there's the road over there get out and walk he goes by the boathouse to kind of let off some steam let off some steam bennett, bennett. she's inside kind of getting her things together when these guys show up they bust right in. Harry comes in, they start hitting him up for money. So they start fucking smashing up his house. Drinking his liquor, yeah. they, they roll that liquor cart right in the those, living room. Those decanters <laughs> and everything. Drinking right in the decanters. <laughs> these plates. With these fucking shitty plates! How much is this worth? He's all on old old! All these hooligans, they end up taking Harry's boat out. They're all piss drunk, too. And the two guys from the gas station who wanted to come and sort of warn Harry and Diane that these guys were coming. They're all piss drunk, too. They're all rowing. They're fucking whizzing by him. They all fall into the water and drown. <laughs> They come back all happy. <laughs> yeah. They don't even dock the boat properly. Just, they just <laughs> drive it right into <laughs> the grass. <laughs> <laughs> and then Harry's all... <laughs> He's all pissed <laughs> off. Oh, because everything's costing yeah. him money. money yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just sees the dollars. Ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding, ding. Start to smash the fucking place to smithereens. They're throwing all those records around. What's all this shit? Yeah, what's all this shit? You call this music? Yeah. This is all garbage. Yeah. And Harry has a gun upstairs. And he runs upstairs and he goes and grabs his gun. 
But as soon as he comes out with the gun, Lep, who's the leader of the group, just grabs it right away. Harry makes his way downstairs and outside, and they follow him outside, and you hear the screams, and you hear a gunshot. Diane has been watching what's been going on, making notes. Lep comes back in, and he throws her to the pack. Runt takes her upstairs. Make yourself pretty. Put some of this on. Put some of this on. Yeah. Got a straight razor, and he takes it to her back. And he's like, come over here, come over here to the bed. She grabs a little shard of glass, and that's where we're gonna end it. So if you wanna see what happens with Death Weekend or House by the Lake, keep watching. But why should you watch Death Weekend? Oh boy, this movie is so gritty. That old film stock that looks not great. This movie benefits from it greatly. The grittiness of the look of the movie really enhances the subject matter. There's a great class divide in this movie. Harry is rich. He's richer than any man deserves to be, yeah. it seems. Yeah. Diane is kind of middle class, not so accomplished model. And then they've got these hooligans, these bums. Lower class people terrorizing Harry. Poor Diane stuck in the middle. She's the middle class stuck in the middle. Middle class is fucked. <laughs> Always fucked, yeah. yeah. The lower class, they have a commentary of their own yeah. on Harry. They're like, well, this is all shit. Yeah, you don't care about anything. Yeah, you don't care about anything. You don't care about what happens to her. But they're almost in the right. You think that, like, after he gives them the money, they'll just go. But no, they don't That's go. not what they, they want. They don't want money. They just want to shame somebody. It actually takes a long time for it to really get going. Mm -hmm. But it's all about building tension, building unease. Even with Diane and Harry, like, they get to the house, taking those pictures. Everything is uneasy. Building towards this crescendo, or right? it's all, like, accumulating towards this. And you know what's going to happen. You're just waiting for that moment to happen. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's warranted yeah, too, right? Yeah. The whole escalation of it feels natural in the movie. The performances are so good where you, you don't disbelieve anything. If I was in that position, I would react that way. Dan's not some like, ah, like screaming, waiting for her moment where she can maybe get out of this. And that's what people would do. And Harry, he's not fighting because how can you fight against four guys? Laying low a little bit and doing whatever they say. A little bit like deliverance. Okay, all right. The setting is very cool too. It's an isolated, old, big house. And what happens when you're in the middle of nowhere and a bunch of people show up? This is exactly what everybody fears. Whenever I was up at a cabin, I'd always fear that people would show up. This movie is that nightmare. The men in this movie are, are all morons. They're all idiots. Yeah. Every one of them. <laughs> yeah. From Harry to the two gas station attendants to all the four hooligans, they're all fucking assholes. Which is kind of a neat commentary on men in this movie, which I appreciate, because like, yeah, you're either drunk or there are a bunch of hooligans or he's a pretentious rapist almost. Poor Diane is like stuck in the situation where nothing is in her favor. The kills in this movie are great. Once you get there, it takes a long time to get there. It's a slow burn. But once Diane starts picking oh, yeah. off the hooligans, it's great. Slits his throat with the glass. Then she lures another guy into the boathouse, fills it with gasoline and blows it up. And he runs out because it's a good yeah. flame scene. It's not the big fat Halloween 2 foreshadowing scene where Harry shows her the, the bog early on in the movie. Like, don't don't go there. You know something's coming. And then from later that, on right? she lets one of the guys follow her into the bog and he fucking Yeah. Uh, help me. And then she just <laughs> intentionally yeah. killing. She can just let him die. But yeah. she she pushes his head in. Brings us to the showdown. The final act. Yeah. Throughout the whole movie there's a yin and a yang between Diane and Lep. There's a dance going on. There is a whole dance going on. It's, it's an interesting dance, he too. It comes to a culmination at the end. We're not going to ruin it for you, but it's very fucking good, and it's very poignant. It is fantastic. Yep. So if you like movies like I Spit on Your Grave... Last House on the Left... Revenge Gang Stories. This movie's 
really right up your alley. You can't even barely find it. Yeah, it's hard. The I fun. was getting worried. I tried to find it for this and it's like, it's, it's on Amazon Prime. Okay, it's on Prime, but you have to have Shutter too. But I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go to Shutter. But it's not on Shutter. <laughs> Yeah. So you have to have Prime and Shutter to watch it. It's like, what What a fucking rip-off. Like, <laughs> fuck off. Like, come on. I have to have, to have two streaming services to watch one movie? Yeah. Fuck you. Should be you go to the rental store and pick up the fucking VHS. Provided some asshole hasn't rented it before yeah. you. <laughs> you go to click the box behind, it's gone. It's yeah. like, ah, oh, fuck. So if you want a good, gritty backwoods revenge type movie this canadian <laughs> yeah watch house by the lake or death weekend if you can find a fucker <laughs> and until next time keep drinking